Hey everybody, Papa Dan's back at you here. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> Excuse me. And at the end of my last video there, I gave you a little teaser of what the next build was going to be. So here she is, the Sand Shark. Now, have you ever wondered what happens to these old collectible cars like this, these old custom cars, you know, I, they sit in a museum for a while or they maybe tour around the country. But then just like everything else, the economy takes a dump and things start to get hard. Well, the museum that the Sand Shark was sitting in, it, it fell on hard times just like everything else. And, uh, so some good old boy who hit the lottery or something, he bought it. Well, he drove it around town for a while and thought all his buddies thought he was real cool and everything, but then the money ran out from his lottery winnings. Well, he parked it out back in the back 40 somewhere, and this is what happened to it. This is the sand shark. After it's been sitting for years and years out in the weather, nobody caring about it. Just sat there and rusted away. bring it back around here and we'll take a look at uh, some of the details here. So I guess we'll start right here in the front. And I got a new camera here so hopefully we'll be able to get some good close-ups. As you can see it's all rusted out, it's got holes rusted right through it. Weeds are actually growing up through the holes. Now the cinder blocks that it's sitting on, they're actually made out of sugar cubes. And the bricks that the tire is leaning up against, those are sugar cubes also. That's more weeds growing up there. License plate frame is rusted and falling off the back. Back tire all rusted up, the wheel on it's all rusted up. The inside is all goobered up, rusted, dirty. And if you'll notice here, the, uh, get it in frame here, the, the leather wrap is falling off of the handlebars, just kind of hanging there now. Canopy's all dirtied up. Can't even see through it anymore. It's all weather beaten. The the one fin there's uh, let me see here, it's all rotted through. There's the other couple of tires just kind of sitting off to the side, all rusted up. The uh, steering linkage here, it it's not even not even connected anymore. It's just hanging there. It's 
So really the reason I did this and came up with this idea is obviously I've been watching Chris Chapman's rusting videos and as you all know I at the end of the Titanic I uh, had said that I was going to do that build from the picture that my brother took. Well my brother got in touch with me and said that he was planning on going back and getting more pictures so I decided to hold off on that one before I started it until I got the other pictures from them and I wanted to go ahead and practice my rusting techniques so I decided to do this do a build using the rusting and the reason I chose this particular model to do it on was because this is one that I had bought off of eBay way back when I first started model building or when I got back into it and it was an open box but the guy assured me that you know everything was there well it was part of a lot and there was like six models I think three or four of them were opened but he said no no all the parts are there you know they're still in the plastic bags and everything and I said okay fine so we bought the lot well opened up this one to build it this was actually going to be my first build and half the motors missing it's not in there so underneath the tarp is only half a motor which is why it's covered up with a tarp because I have no clue as to how I would scratch build a motor or scratch build the pieces that I'm missing from the motor. It's basically the whole top half of the motor is gone. So I decided, what the heck, let's have some fun with it. I can get my rusting practice in. And I used the uh, sophisticated finishes And also on the, the body, I um, used the sponging technique that Chris was showing us how to use. Like the, the wheels there, that's all the sophisticated finishes on that. And I should have taken some pictures of the underside or taken some video of it before I put all this together and didn't even think about it. The, un the underside is done. It's all rusted and goobered up as Chris would say but unfortunately I have it all glued down here. So I really can't get to it to show it to you. So anyways, that's the uh, that's the sand shark. Oh, the uh, the handlebars where I've got the leather strap wraps uh, rotten off, and the tarp, the blue tarp, were made from uh, tissue paper. That after I got them on, after I put it on there, then I used the uh, 50% glue, 50 white glue, and 50% water. And then once it dried, I just painted it. So that's how that that's how that was done. So that's the sand shark. And let me grab this here real quick. Just kind of push this back a little bit now like I was telling you the last time this is the uh, the picture that my brother took 
It's a 1950 Ford pickup. And this is actually a, just an old barn that he had come across when he was out walking, taking pictures. And he, my brother is a really good uh, amateur photographer. I mean, if any of you are into scenery like this or wildlife, uh, check out his Facebook page. His name is Brian Leroy. And he's got his Facebook page open to where anybody can go in and look at his pictures. But he, is, he has got some awesome, awesome pictures on there. Eagles and ducks and hummingbirds that he's caught in mid-flight. Uh, just all kinds of really, really awesome stuff. So this is going to be the next build that I'm going to get started on here. And I am going to make it a diorama, just like you see it in the picture here. I'm going to build the, build the barn. I'll have all the weeds coming down over it, all the vines. So, and this is, this is the truck. I got the truck already. So that's going to be the next build that we're going to be getting started on. So once again, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. And to all of you that uh, are seeing this, because I'm sure there's probably quite a few subscribers out there that don't know about the the name change yet so if you could help me pass the word around that Papa Dan's models is now Papa Dan models 2 I would really appreciate it because boy this thing with YouTube and Google or whoever is at fault actually they're both same company so they're both at fault but couldn't have happened at a worse time I had just hit a hundred subscribers uh, as I had mentioned at the the end of the Titanic build there and I had just gotten this new camera that my son and I went in together on so I've been dying to use this camera and see how the videos come out so but hey we're back up in business now so I just want to thank everybody and like I said if I can ask you to do me one little favor and that's just kind of pass the word around so everybody knows about it I would really really appreciate it well thanks a lot everybody have a good day and we'll see you at the next update bye